want that light on? Yes. No, not that one. No. Thanks. Uh, I think we're good. Hi, everybody. I'm trying to find a place to stand where you can see me and the painting. Um, my name is Peg Connery Boyd, for those who don't know me. Um, and I think there are a few new people uh, tonight. I'm an oil painter. Um, I've been painting for about 20 years. And I started doing these little shows during the pandemic because um, it was hard to stay in touch with people. and it made things a little more fun and interesting. And I haven't done one in a while, but I thought that um, since I had some new work to show, it might be fun to do a little live um, video about some new artwork. Um, for those who've seen my work before, this is repetitive, but I just thought I'd share that um, I'm kind of in the middle between a realistic painter um, and someone who paints um, super, super abstract. Um, you probably will recognize the subjects in my work. Um, but I don't do a lot of tiny details. I use big brush strokes, and most of my paintings are, are kind of loose and free. Um, and actually, coincidentally, the name of this painting is Loose, Free, and Fabulous. Um, the story behind this painting um, is a conversation that I had with my son Kevin's girlfriend, Emma, who is a sweetheart and uh, they're getting married next year. And she started to talk to me about flowers for the wedding because she knows that I love flowers. Um, and she said she was really looking for color and kind of a farmhouse vibe and um, um, a lot of, you know, just pretty um, pop on the tables. And I, I went looking for some photos for her um, that I thought might give her some inspiration and it actually gave me some inspiration. So. Um, I painted this um, from one of the photos I had taken last year from some garden flowers that came in from outside. Um, this is a 12 inch by 12 inch oil painting um, on canvas. Stretch. This is what the back looks like. So you can see I'm kind of messy on my edges. Um, the price for this uh, normally is $250 um, and I'm doing a little sale for this show um, and through the weekend, uh, my sizzling summer sale. So it makes it like, I think 198. Um, so this is, what's the name again? Uh, loose Free Fabulous. Loose Free and Fabulous. My husband's <coughs> helping me because my memory is hard, is not as good as it used to be. Loose Free and Fabulous. Okay, thanks son. And the next floral painting I'm going to show you um, is called Abundance of Lilacs. And the inspiration for this piece um, came from my friend Jane McGuire. Um, she sent me a photo and um, it was a picture of some lilacs in a, um, a pretty vase uh, from a friend that had sent it to her. So this is uh, inspiration from a friend of a friend. Um, I guess her friend has some wonderful gardens with uh, many lilac bushes of different types and um, she had put a bunch of them in a vase and they were just overflowing they were so pretty um, so it gave me the inspiration to paint this and i'm going to hold it close up um, there's a lot of texture in this painting i'm sorry i'm juggling um, if you can see the brush strokes uh, because i did a lot of layers it was uh, with lilacs there is a lot of um, texture and depth even in the flowers themselves. So um, I always do three or four uh, different sessions. So that's what creates kind of that texture in the painting that makes it oil painting and makes it um, special. So this painting is Abundance of Lilacs. Um, it's also 12 by 12, oil on canvas. And I popped it in this little frame. I have a few of these frames. Um, while they last, if um, anyone would like to choose one of these floral paintings, um, I'm happy to pop it in as a little gift. Um, it's not like the sturdiest frame in the whole world, but it's kind of nice to get something that you can hang and uh, see what it looks like on the wall. So that's Abundance of Lilacs. 
Uh, normally two fifty on sale for one ninety eight, I think. Okay. Um, and my website. I'm just going to mention. I didn't do a good job. I hope you can read this. Um, it's Connery Boyd Gallery. dot com. C o n n e r y, b o y d, Gallery. dot com. Um, the prices on these paintings are already discounted, so you don't have to type in any codes or anything. Um, the sale is already active. Through Sunday. Speaking. Oh. Um, and this is an example of a little bit of a different um, palette and um, style. I kind of think that all of my flower paintings have a little bit of a different personality. And um, this is almost kind of a watercolor -y palette, softer, a little bit more realistic, a little bit more detailed. This is about as realistic as my painting goes. So this is on the realistic side of my spectrum. Um, and because it's kind of soft, I had kind of envisioned it um, as sort of a bedroomy painting. I almost named it Bedroom Eyes, but I thought I wouldn't get too controversial, so I named it um, Speaking Softly. Speaking Softly. So this is Speaking Softly. It's a hydrangea with some tiny little flowers. I think they were butterfly bushes. Um, that I picked from our yard in Colorado, and I brought them inside and painted. And this is also 12 by 12, built on canvas, um, and it is on sale for about 190. 198. 198, thanks. Jim's better with the numbers than I am. Um, these are available on my website. Um, you uh, can also choose to just contact me if you'd prefer to receive an invoice. Um, I know some people don't like to use credit cards on websites, and I understand. My son Colin just had a problem this week with his credit card, so um, just let me know if you would like to uh, pay some other way. I also accept Venmo and PayPal. We're easy. Okay. 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 Thank you. Let me just see if I can this down a little bit. Um, so I've been doing a lot of plein air painting lately. I was just in the um, Boulder Plein Air Festival and I had so much fun. Uh, Colorado couldn't be a more beautiful place um, to paint plein air. And um, this piece I did in an unbelievably gorgeous location which is in Longmont, Colorado um, by McIntosh Lake and um, you have these staggeringly beautiful views of the mountains. Whoops, sorry. I'm going to just bring up so you can see some, some of the detail. Um, this is more of kind of an impressionist, uh, loose-feeling, um, abstract piece. And um, when I was doing it, I was just really in heaven. Um, Sorry, it's hard to get these cameras right and see me too. And um, I called it mountain meditation because, you know, I kind of felt like uh, I was meditating with the mountain while I was out there. So this, um, this one's a little bit bigger. It's a 20 inch by 20 inch canvas. Um, and it's called mountain meditation. Um, it's 450. 450 on my website and it's on sale for 356. Um, so that's mountain meditation. And I have one more little Colorado landscape. From my neighbor. Um, this painting just got um, back from a, a little show out here, so I haven't put it on my website yet. Um, we get these absolutely gorgeous, um, let me see if you can see me in the painting, there we go. These gorgeous sunsets out in the um, plains, out in Erie where we live. And I did this painting um, from a photo I took one night when I had taken a walk um, on the trails near our house, which are pretty flat, but you can see the mountains in the distance. Um, so this is uh, from my neighborhood. Um, it's an oil on canvas. It's 12 inches by 9 inches. Um, and I'll hold it up close so you can see the colors of the sunset and the mountains in the distance. 
we're so lucky we have this um, uh, these trails where you can walk for miles without cars or noise. It's very peaceful um, on the edge of our neighborhood. Uh, it's, they're the Cold Creek Trails. Um, so this painting is an oil on canvas 9 by 12 or 12 by 9 um, and in my neighborhood and it's, um, I didn't put a price on it. Okay, so it's usually uh, the same price, I'd say, as the florals. So, two fifty and uh, for one ninety six, and the frame is included because it just came from a show. So, here you go. Thanks. Okay. Now I'm just going to show you a few seascapes. Mm. I am not an early riser, as many of you know, um, and I don't usually paint sunrises, but a good friend of mine had sent um, this beautiful photo of a sunrise to me from the Connecticut shoreline, and um, I was inspired to paint this. And, and this, again, has a softer palette. It's um, a little bit uh, peaceful, calm, soothing. It's an oil on canvas, and it's 20 inches by 20 inches. Um, it is, 450, thanks, 450 um, usually, and 350, 356 on sale the weekend. Morning Glory is the title. I'll just hold it up a little closer to you so you can see. Um, so the story behind this painting is um, my husband and I were going down to visit our son in Georgia. He's in the Air Force, he's a pilot, and he's in Valdosta, Georgia. So we, um, we flew to Georgia, and because I was feeling a little bit landlocked in Colorado, um, I convinced my sister Marianne to come meet me after we left Georgia and go to Florida to the beach for a few days. Um, so this painting was inspired by our little trip to the beach. Um, I took a walk one morning, and you know how it is when um, it's cloudy on the first day of your vacation and you think it's going to rain, and it's so disappointing. And I took a walk and landed in this little um, park in uh, Boca Raton, which was just sort of line from where we were staying in Deerfield Beach. And um, I went out on the little beach in this park, and all of a sudden the sky started to brighten up, and it was just like... Um, so exciting because it made me so happy because I knew that we were going to get some good weather. Um, so I sat on the rocks and there were some fishermen working um, that morning and I, I took some photos because it was just glistening and shiny and so beautiful. And when I got home I painted this and I called it Soothing Seas um, because that's kind of what these seas did for me. Um, and this painting is kind of exciting. It has a, a little bit of movement in it. It's um, it's got a lot of um, kind of lilac and purple colors going on. Let me just see if I can get it in the, so you can see some of the texture in the sky and in the rocks on the coast. This is a happy painting for me. Um, and the size is 20 inches by 16 inches. Um, and I have it in this simple gray frame. Uh, the price is... 450 um, normally, but it's 356 on sale. Peaceful morning. This painting was another one of my beach paintings. Um, uh, <coughs> I had a nice quiet morning all by myself at um, at the beach, and it was so lovely. And I. Um, just felt like it gave me such a sense of peace. Um, can you tell the beach is my happy place? Um, so when I got home, I painted this, and I called it Peaceful Morning at the Beach. I think this is kind of a quintessential um, beach painting. I'll just bring it a little closer so you can see some of the 
detail. Soft, soothing blues and white sand. What could be better than that, right? So this is called Peaceful Morning at the Beach. It's regularly $4.50, but it's on sale for $3.56. Thanks, Jim. And the last painting I'm going to show called um, Light Breaking Through. Um, it's an oil on canvas. It's the largest one I'm going to show you today. It's 24 inches by 36 inches wide. Um, it's actually a prize winner. It just won a blue ribbon at the Longmont Artist Guild. It's a, a fantastic group of artists and I'm really honored that, um, that it won in the category of oil paintings. So. Um, this is a winner. <laughs> let's go, yeah, let's go. A little bit tight. So you can see it. Okay, yeah, thanks. Let's step a little and get back. Thanks. Um, I've got it in. I think if you put it down, it would be okay. Now I'll move it down like this. There. I have it in a flip frame. Um, from the show, and um, this was actually based on a Cape Cod sunset um, that a friend had shared with me, and um, I'm just in love with the turquoises and blues of the, the sea, and I, I think it, it's just a lovely composition. It's peaceful and beautiful, but it's also kind of abstract and fun at the same time, um, so it's, it's kind of a win-win, a, a I guess. Um, and I was really honored to win first prize because there was some fantastic artwork at this show. So um, this painting is $7.95 um, and it's on sale 20% off. So it's like six sixty, I think, something like that. <laughs> it's on my website. So this is Light Breaking Through. And I forgot to mention, I forgot to mention my door prizes. So if you leave me a message to let me know that you came to the show, um, you'll be able to uh, be entered in my contest to win some of my note cards, which are, these are simply sweet little roses, or I have two um, landscapes. So I'm going to pick the winners after the show. Um, and I'll let you know tomorrow who won the note cards. And I just want to close and let you know I have a couple of new prints that I've, um, I just knotted and framed myself. One of them is, oops, the latest kind of, one of them is from my painting called um, Rat Grateful. And um, it's a seascape, one of my more abstract paintings. And I just have a few of these prints that I've already uh, signed and matted and um, put into these really simple frames. They're, you know, they're $69 each. And these are not on my website, so you have to send me a note if you want one of these. And also, um, I have just a couple of, of framed um, prints of some more lilacs, my painting Lilac Dreams, in this um, simple kind of driftwoody frame. So just let me know, this is also $69 framed. And all my prices, I should have mentioned, include shipping in the United States. So you don't have to add shipping. And that's true for my canvas paintings as well. Uh, I'm happy to answer any questions. You can reach me on email at conneryboydart at gmail.com. Um, or you can contact me through my website, conneryboydgallery.com. 
I love when people follow on Instagram. It's at Pick Connery Boyd R. 